What's going on guys? Adam Snyder here with Homemade Entrepreneur and I want to show you another video on exactly the process that I use to get people from Facebook into my email list and then hopefully convert that list into you know dollars to make some money from it. So what I want to show you right here is exactly you know what you're seeing. I'm going to show you I'm going to kind of walk you through the steps I take to create an actual campaign over on Facebook. Uh, how I get it to a landing page. From that landing page, I get people to opt into my email list. And then from the email list, I send them into just an automated, it's just an autoresponder. It's just all automated. So every day, every few days, I send out an email and I'm talking about, you know, different things and hopefully going to promote an affiliate product. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to jump over onto Facebook. So here's Facebook. Here's my ads manager. And so uh, we're going to talk about Facebook. I'm going to show you a website that I use as the landing page. I'm also going to show you what I am uh, actually promoting. Um, but for the sake of this, I'm I'm going to be a little bit more broad to kind of help you out. So first thing, you need to get traffic. So right here, I'm on my ads manager inside Facebook. The first thing that I do, I don't go for lead generation. Now you could, you could try to get lead generation. That's fine. I don't do that first. The first thing I do is try just to get traffic. What I want Facebook to do is go out there and get me just the most traffic that I can to my website. The reason why I do this is because then if I start getting traffic, what I can do after that is I can target people that are very similar to those people right there based on their likes, based on their ages, all that stuff. Okay. So I'm just going to go, I'm just going to click on traffic. We're going to create a, a new campaign. I'm not going to do a split test right now. Um, so just for just for my just for me, I don't want to confuse this with something that I'm really you know using on something else. So anyway, this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to send all my traffic to a website, and the website is actually going to be this one right here. Um, you can see it. Uh, actually, I need to make my box a little bit bigger so that you can see it. Um, but there. So you can see the whole site. You can kind of see the site right there. This one is powered by ConvertKit. You can see it down there. Anyway, so this is where I'm going to send all my traffic to. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do, let's go right here. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is, like I said, you know, we can go back and we can retarget some of these people. But for the first thing, all I want to do is target people in the United States and Canada. Okay, so that's gonna be my target audience. This number is way too big. Okay, I'm just telling you that right now. This number is way too big. I try to get mine to let's say under 400,000 uh, is okay. If you can get under 200,000, you'll do a whole lot better. Under 100,000, uh, under 100,000 for your uh, your potential reach, uh, you should be able to really target those people. Um, so anyway, for the keto diet, this is something. You know, like I said, this is going to be what I'm going to promote. And you can see this is the actual thing right here. This is a product that you can get over on ClickBank. Um, for every sale, sells for $35. I get $23 of that. So not bad. And so if you go to if you go over to ClickBank, you type in keto, it's I think the number two. Yeah, number two. It's not this one. It's this one right here. Keto diet programs. $23 is average sale. So anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to target men. I'm going to target men age 25 through 45. That's the ages I like to target. Uh, let's see. Actually, we'll do 50. Okay. 25 through 50. We'll do only English, only in the U.S., not U.K., um, and now here's here's where it can get a little bit trickier. This is where a lot of people struggle is how do I figure out my my target market? Who am I supposed to or who should see these ads? Okay. What most people do, and you can kind of see what I've done before. Anyway, so what most people do is they target people that they think uh, are following somebody else. So let's say um, let's say for let's let's just talk about like fitness in general. Um, so fitness in general, let's say you can go try to promote to uh, Jillian Michaels or people that like, um, you know, her or maybe people that like uh, Tybo or, uh, you know, things like that. People that like a certain thing. 
what I like to do and what I did for my for the the whole keto diet and for this uh, campaign that I ran is what I did is I went to people that liked Gold's Gym to like different gyms, okay? Uh, Planet Fitness, 24-hour fitness, okay? You get the idea. From there, I actually went a little bit deeper, okay? I went to bodybuilding, or you can go to bodybuilding.com, okay? And then from there, you can even go deeper if you want to, okay? So what I'm doing here, instead of adding here, like I could have done right here, I'm narrowing the audience, okay? Narrowing further, or you can even exclude people. So I'm gonna narrow it even further to men that are married. Now, why would I choose, see, look at that number, 120,000. It's actually pretty good. I might keep it right there. So the reason why I do this, the reason why you want to you want to be very detailed is because you don't want Facebook to go out there and promote your offer to people that you know are never going to buy it, that are never going to opt in. Okay, let's go look at my landing page right here. Beginner's guide to the keto diet: everything you need to know to succeed with keto. Learn everything you need to know uh, for free inside this guide. Uh, I show you what does a proper keto diet consist of, what foods uh, you can and can't eat, what what, why a keto diet, ketogenic diet is easy to follow, tips and tricks to calm your cravings, all this, you know, so much more. Get my guide. There you go. Okay. Now, the reason why I wanted to show you that right now is because that is going to help you figure out who you're going to promote to. The reason why I'm targeting people that go to the gym, that like these things, that have an interest in 24-hour fitness, full gym, or Planet Fitness, is because people that work out know that working out is only half the battle, or actually not even half the battle. The majority of the mistakes people make are in the kitchen. So the keto diet is one of the more popular diets, or the ketogenic diet, whatever you want to call it, is one of the more popular diets that people are going through right now. That's one of the reasons why I was promoting it, is because people were always working out. Great. But if you're not losing weight, if you're not gaining muscle, your diet could be the leading problem to that. So that's why I was promoting the people that followed the gyms. Then also people that were interested in bodybuilding because it's not only people wanting to lose weight, people that are wanting to get ripped, get toned, and actually, you know, uh, you know, see a difference in their, their body type. Those are people that are gonna that are gonna be interested in the keto diet as well. The reason why I targeted people that are married is one, people that are married are far more likely to uh, cook meals at home. It's, it's just, I, don't, I don't remember who did the study, but there was a study that single uh, single men eat out, uh, I think it's like 70 or 80 percent more than a married man does. Okay, so if you're eating out, chances are you are probably not on a keto diet. Keto is, is very difficult to, to do if you're always eating out. Okay, that's why I targeted uh, people that are married. You can also go one step further. People that are making, um, let's say, 49,000. Uh, let's say, so that, that's not very much, but you can kind of get the idea. That, that brings us down to 11. Okay, I'm actually going to get rid of that one. But you get the idea, okay? So that's what I do. Now, as far as your ad, you know, I just let, I just do what Facebook says. Just do the automatic, pla automatic placement. Um, there, there's nothing really special you need to do here. Um, budget, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, link clicks. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah. I just leave it just like that. Okay. Leave it just like that. I change it. Um, you know, maybe you're gonna change your daily budget. You can do five dollars. Okay. You can you can honestly do five dollars. There's there's no reason why you should be running an ad at a hundred dollars a day if you have no clue what you're doing. Okay. So you can go do that. You can create an ad. What I'd recommend is actually create a video. It could be a short video. It could be something that you're pulling from uh, maybe someone else's account, but give them credit for it. You know, inside um, inside the video, you can also be like that, you know, viral videos or whatever. And that's one of the things I'd recommend is use something like a video because people are more inclined to actually click on a video to watch a video all the way through and video will grab your attention a little bit more. So like I said, this is what I'm promoting. 
okay? It's this exact thing right here that you can find over on ClickBank. So, let's talk about this, break it down a little bit more. I get all my traffic from Facebook. Now, I'd recommend you start at five to ten dollars a day. Usually, you can see if you're if you're running ads at five to ten dollars a day, you should be able to see within ten days. Okay, five to ten days, depending on how much you're running. I, I like to run between fifty to sixty dollars through an ad uh, before I decide. Okay, I need to up my ad spend, or I need to you know modify my landing page, modify my emails, whatever it is, because you don't have enough uh, information. You don't have enough. Uh, traffic going through the list to really make a decision at that point. So, okay, five to ten dollars. Run it for five to ten days. Send the traffic to a landing page. If you're seeing a decent amount of conversions, you're seeing people actually land on the page and they're opting into your email list. If you have an opt-in uh, rate of let's say two percent, you need to change your ad as well as your landing page. Don't change them both at the same time. Change one. Change your ad. Run another $50 through it, then change your landing page. All right, so again, let's recap really quick, okay? Just want to make sure you guys understand this. Now, I know I'm leaving out stuff like, you know, how do you create an ad? You know, how do you do, you know, that stuff? I'm, I just wanted to, you know, show you how I target people, okay? And where I'm, where I'm sending people, all that. So again, 5 to $10 a day, run it. Make sure you're getting at least $50 to $60 of ad spend through the of that much traffic through the ad before you decide to either change it up or you decide to cancel the whole thing okay i usually change it all up unless you're getting just absolutely nothing then that's where you would actually just cancel it okay you just stop the campaign but if you're getting some conversions over on your landing page people are converting to your email list that's where you need to either change your landing page or you need to change your ad to make sure that people know exactly what they're getting when they click on that ad. Because you don't want somebody clicking on that ad just for the sake of it. You want somebody to click on it because you are promising them something. You are gonna give them a gift, okay? That's why I say get my free keto guide, okay? So when they get into your email list, you're gonna promote affiliate products. What I like to do is I like to promote it where, let's write this down write it down right here so uh, what I like to do is do day one is going to be all uh, value okay that's going and that's going to be the free guide day two is going to be more value day three I'm going to promote the offer day four a value I've talked about this before uh, on a lot of my other videos day five day five it's going to be promote promote offer okay and then you just follow follow the same pattern okay that's all we're going to do day one is value in the free guide day two is more value day three you can promote this offer here day four you're going to be doing all value day five promote the offer again now when i say promote the offer i'm not saying just be like hey you need to buy this go buy this you need it now I'm saying what you need to do is you need to say something like, you know, here are the the five, uh, you know, key or the wow. Let me look at this. I don't remember exactly what I did. Um, tips and tricks to calm your craving. That's what I did. So in this one, day three, I say the the five uh, key tips that I have to calm your cravings while on the keto diet. That is now I know that's a really long uh, title to an email, but you know I broke it down somehow. So. That's what I do. And then inside, I talk about you need, uh, if you want more information, you need to go look at this. It's called the health, the healthful pursuit. You need to go look at that. And that's going to give you all the information you need, you know, become a fat burning machine, all this stuff. And you can go into that. You can show pictures and they have, I think down at the very bottom uh, for affiliates, you can go down there and you can get all the stuff you need, all the pictures, all that stuff. So hopefully this video kind of helps you out and shows you you know what it is that i do now this is only one of the things one of the offers that i promote okay i promote a lot of the ones uh, some of them do very well some don't do as well uh, some you know i'm more i'm just building my list because when you have that email list uh, from on average for, for me myself okay from what i've done in the past i make right about two dollars and 24 cents 
per email subscriber, okay? So $2.24 is not a lot of money, but let's say you have a thousand people in the first month. If you can consistently make, and that's that's every single month, the $2.24 is every single month, not the, not the lifetime value of the customer. So $2.24 is actually really good because I consistently am promoting the products, but I do it in a way that I'm not just shoving it down your throat. Okay, if you've ever seen, if you've watched many of my videos here on my YouTube channel, if you subscribe to any of my email list, if you follow me in any way, I don't just push products down your throat. I only promote what I know works, what I use myself, okay, and what I feel comfortable with actually putting out there to people, putting my name behind it, my brand behind it, okay? So if you guys have any questions on how to do this, let me know. Uh, I will do another video on creating an ad, what I do, how I go through the process of choosing the pictures, choosing videos, Choosing the text that I use, uh, or the, the the actual copy that I use, not the actual text, because everyone has the exact same you know font, but you get the idea, okay? I'm gonna do a video on that pretty soon because I've been getting a lot of people asking how I do it. It is something I talk about a little bit inside my courses, but it's one of those things that I think I need to go over a little bit more because I know a lot of people don't want to get into affiliate marketing, don't want to get into Amazon FBA or course creation or any of that stuff. So that's where I think I need to create this video. So if you want me to do a video talking about how to create an ad, you know, how I get my ideas, you know, because there's actually a few sites out there that I use to come up with different ideas of, and I can see the ads that people are actually running, such as Ty Lopez, Grant Cardone, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, you know, Tim Ferriss. I know Gary doesn't run a lot of ads, but anyway, you get the idea, you get the picture, okay? So that is it. Hopefully this video answered some of your questions. Hopefully this video gave you some ideas, okay? Because well, the one thing that I want to want to stress the most uh, with uh, creating an ad, creating a campaign, is when you are doing your targeting, you need to stop looking at things like just entrepreneurship or, you know, let's say you want to promote an affiliate marketing product or something, or whatever it is. A lot of people go after people that are looking at entrepreneurship. I used to do that as well. Every once in a while, I will still target entrepreneurship, but I'm always breaking it down. You know, who who else should I target other than just entrepreneurship or just weight loss because honestly those categories are so big you need to break it down even further you need to really understand your customer you really understand who the person is you're going after and that's where you can be able to start making more money so again hopefully you like this video if you did make sure you smash that thumbs up button if this is your first time here and you are not yet a subscriber make sure you click that subscribe button subscribe today and i'll see you guys on the next video